So, every video editor I know is always searching for a way to become more skilled at editing videos. That of course is the reason why I make videos like this. There's no better way to sharpen your skills than by doing exercises. Today you're gonna learn some beautiful blending effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're gonna start with level one, something easy, and then we're gonna build our way up to level four. So level one, what is blending? Blending in video editing is when you layer two or multiple videos on top of each other and blend them together so that they become one. A perfect and easy example of this is adding a lens flare on top of the sun. To do this, make sure you have both clips in the timeline. Then drag the lens flare on top of your sun clip. Now make sure the flare is selected and go to the effect controls. In here, go to opacity and find the blending modes menu. Choose screen or add. These blending modes will remove the blacks from your video so only the lighter parts will remain. This makes it easy to blend the flare with your video. Next, go to the motion properties and select it. You can simply drag the flare on top of your sun, but now the edges of the flare clip become visible. But don't worry, we can fix that. Go back to opacity and click the pen tool. In the program monitor, drag a rough mask around your flare. Then all you need to do is increase the feather a lot. And that was level one, super simple. It's time for effect level two, a beautiful double exposure effect. First, you need two clips, one of your face in a dark room and another one with some clouds or buildings, whatever you like. In the timeline, drag the clip with your face on top of the clouds clip. Then in the effect library, find the track matte effect. Drag it on top of the clouds clip. Now head over to the effect controls and set the matte to video track number two or whatever track your face clip is on. Then set the composite to matte luma. Now you can already see the clouds in your face, but of course, you want it to be brighter. To do that, go to the window menu on top and find Lumetri Color. Once it's open, increase the exposure of your clouds clip until you're happy with the result. This looks absolutely stunning. I actually downloaded these clips from the amazing Storyblocks plugin. You can just type in whatever you need and then you can just click the download button. Your clips will then appear in the project window. All of that without leaving Premiere. Storyblocks is actually sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. Now, Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and so much more for one predictable subscription cost. So you never have to pay an expensive price per clip you wanna download ever again. Now, by choosing from thousands pre-made professional templates for Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion, and DaVinci Resolve, you will take your videos to the next level and speed up your creative workflow a lot. You can create better videos faster with customizable DaVinci Resolve templates. From motion graphics to animated sequences, they are essential to creating professional looking videos. Everything you download from Starblocks is 100% royalty free, so you don't need to worry about copyright strikes or anything like that. Now let me tell you guys a little secret. Starblocks has a special offer just for you guys. For a very limited time, you'll get three additional months for free if you sign up with the annual individual license plan. Just go to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics to take advantage of this exclusive offer only available until the end of May 2024. You know, the offer won't appear at checkout because it's our little secret. But rest assured, it will be automatically added to your account shortly after you sign up. So again, click the link down below to check out Storyblocks. It's time for blending effect level three, a beautiful glass text reflection. First, find a clip of a big city, a drone shot or something. Then in the timeline, click the text tool and in the program monitor, type in whatever you like. Make sure you have a bold font like Gotham Black, for example. Next, go to the effects library and find the track matte effect. Drag it on top of the city clip. Now in effect controls, set the track matte to the track of your text, which for me is track two. Next, go to the project window and click the new item button. Find a adjustment layer and once you have it, drag it on top of your clips in the timeline. Next, go to the effects library and find the mirror effect. Drag it on top of the adjustment layer. Then in the effect controls, set the reflection angle to 90 degrees. Now move the position of the text downwards until you have a little black edge in between both the text. Once that's done, create a mask on the effect by clicking the pen tool. Then in the program monitor, simply draw a mask around the top text. All that's left to do now is increase the feather a lot. And there you go. Now you you're ready for effect level four, a blending transition. First, you need two clips for the transition, of course. Then find a splash motion graphic video, for example, on Storyblocks. Put both the clips on top of each other, basically make them overlap. Now drag the splash motion graphic on top of the clips. Make sure it's the same length as the clips overlap. Now find the track matte effect again and drag it on the middle clip. Then with that clip selected, go to the effect controls and set the matte to video track three. You know where your splash clip is on. There you go. That looks amazing. Now you can 
also use blending techniques to create fire in Premiere or perhaps enter the avatar state. To learn that, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative.